Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe InDesign and your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how to create tables within Adobe InDesign. Sometimes what you need to do is create a table for menus, for checks, for keeping, make sure that we keep our finances together. And you can use InDesign to really create some really cool looking um tables and they're very easy for you to create just, just have got to follow a couple steps for you to create your table so as you can see here i've got a page already set up so what i'm now going to do is go to table and then create table what happens is your create table options will appear and as you can see you're able to change how many body uh, rows or columns you want header rows or footer rows so let's say for example i come through now and say i want five columns and five rows uh, let's say we say one header row there and press OK. And then what I'm able to do now, if I start to click and drag out here and create my table across the whole page, like so, and there is my table. What we're able to do is manipulate the spacing in between. So I can just click and drag with my mouse there, like so. And then and as you can see, you can start to type within these pages here. So if I also say first name, make sure we spell it correctly, obviously. And if you want to change the positioning of the text within the cell itself, just highlight it. And you have these options here where I can say I want that in the middle. Like so. Fantastic. And obviously I can come through here now. Second name, for instance. Yeah, again, I want that position in the middle. Like so. And don't forget as well, guys, if you go back to your table, you have all of these different options here where you can change alternate in rows, alternate column rows, alternate in fills. Let's say we do that. So if we go to our fill option here, and let's say we turn, let's say every other row, let's say we turn a preview on. And as you can see, you can start to color it. I might put blue in there, for instance. Let me come in here and I can put pink. Let's go for a dark blue, maybe. Let's just lower that tint down there. Like so I'll probably around to about 80% and press OK. And that's how you create your tables with an Adobe InDesign. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.